All right, I'm going to make a quick video on uh, how to edit music. Everybody uh, has a different stereo, a different system, and uh, it peaks at different frequencies, and some people just like slow music. Some people um, like low frequencies. Some people like higher frequencies. Um, I'm going to show you how to slow down a song uh, to match the frequency that you want it to be at. So I'm going to take the song, and I'm going to drag it into this program that I have over here called Audacity. Um, that's what it looks like, Audacity. Um, I drag it in, it's easy as that. Maximize it. Um, and I'm gonna do this kind of quick just to show you how easy it really is. Um, zoom in a little bit, just a preference. Um, so this song right here, I'm playing it right now, and there's nothing. And then the music starts. Alright, first thing I don't like is that. So I'm going to take this from the beginning of the song. I'm going to drag over the section that's quiet. And uh, I'm going to go over to this little cut section over here. Cut. So I'm going to click that. Boom, now it's gone. Okay, so I play that. Cool, now it starts as soon as, uh, as, soon as you want it to start. Um, I'll probably do the same thing at the end. Let's do that right here because there's a really long end section where there's nothing. Um, and that seems pretty uh, crazy. So I'm going to go to cut, get rid of that. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what, what frequency the song peaks at. So I'll just drag a section here, just highlight a section, uh, and go up to analyze at the top. And go to uh, plot spectrum. And uh, this is going to show you uh, basically all the different peaks in the song and what uh, frequencies it's playing at and the volume that it was recorded at and uh, you can change the size and you can change a lot of these settings get rid of the grid um, that's what it looks like with the grid on grid off it's kind of annoying I think um, but anyways here's a peak the peak of the song the loudest peak of the song um, is 51 Hertz recorded at negative 23 DB which is pretty quiet uh, the loudest music can be recorded at a zero, so anything below that, and that so it's 23 dB quieter than it could be. Um, normal music is probably somewhere around negative eight, negative ten. Um, so here's a lower lower peak, 35, at negative 30. So this negative 30, or this uh, 39, um, 35 hertz at negative 30 and this other peak at 51 at negative 23 pretty close um, but your peaks can be 51 so that's really high I usually like to play uh, when I demo anywhere between um, 30 I guess 30 and 50 so if the song's peaking at 51 that's kind of high so I'm gonna probably try to get it down to maybe the 35 to 40 range and see what that sounds like um, so what I'm gonna do before I before I split it, because I'm going to be splitting it, I want to slow down the whole track. Okay, so I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go to Effect. Effect. And then I'm going to go to Change Speed. And there's a whole list of stuff here you can do. So I'm going to go to Change Speed. I'm going to drag this bar. Negative 20 I'm going to try. And then uh, it usually does this, changing speed. It's going to tell you whatever it's doing and giving you elapsed time and time remaining. And stuff like that. And then uh, when it's done, you see the whole track get a little bit longer. So now you can hear it. It's a little bit slower. Alright, sorry for that. I was just jamming out a little bit. I like to slow down music. It sounds pretty sweet. Alright, so here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag a little bit of a section. Go to Analyze. Plot Spectrum again. And now I'm going to see where my, where my peak is at. So now the same peak is now at 42 hertz. 
at negative 21 dB. So it brought it from 51 down to 42. And then the other peak here is 13. That shows a peak, but there's one actually right here. And uh, you can see my line jumping, but wherever my cursor is, that's what it's going to show down here. So negative 26. The other one was at 35 before, so it's about 10 hertz slower uh, than it was. So there's actually going to be uh, a little bit of jiggle right there at 26. Um, so this other peak, 39 ish 40 ish I'm gonna want to I'm gonna want a little bit slower so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to um, undo I could just uh, change the speed again but I usually like to undo it and then redo it because um, I'm weird I guess so I'm gonna go to effect and let's change speed let's go negative 30 see what that does maybe really slow but might sound cool I'm doing this in real time, so it's really not taking a whole lot. Ah, yeah, 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 well, okay, all right, cool. Anyways. All right, so now we're slowed down again. You can hear the difference. Pretty slow. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Analyze, plot spectrum. Now look at this peak. This peak is 36 dB, or 36 hertz right now at negative 21 dB. So 36 is, is uh, good for where I'm gonna to wanna to play it at. So that's just my preference. And then the other peak at 25, so that looks pretty good. So Negative, negative 21, so now we're going to take this and we're going to boost it a little bit. But in order to boost it, we're going to want to split the track um, to a high pass and a low pass. So uh, highlight the whole track, click over here, and I'm going to do a control C for copy. For those who didn't know, and then uh, control V to paste. And then you're going to paste the whole track in. So the reason you're going to want to do this is because you're going to want to high pass. So click on the top one. And then high pass. Usually what I'll do is 80 hertz for high pass. So everything above 80 hertz is going to be on the track one. Or on the top track. And then uh, I'm going to go to effect and then low pass. And then I'm going to do low pass at 80 hertz. So basically, and this one's going to get really small. So this is going to get really small because all the highs are gone from that one now. So this is high, everything above 80 hertz and then everything below 80 hertz. So what I'm going to do is make sure the bottom one is highlighted. And I'm going to take this effect and then I'm going to um, go to bass boost. And that one's pretty small, so I can put in the frequency that I want to boost, and it was at 36 was the peak. So I can take 36, and uh, let's, maybe I'll boost it. Maybe I'll try boosting at 12. Let's see what that does. And that's going to get a lot bigger. All right. So it's, it's bigger, but I could even go more with it. So all right, so what I did now, uh, I'll do uh, undo bass boost just to show what I did. I usually like to undo and then redo because I like to know exactly how much I boosted it. Um, so I'll go to bass boost again, and I, the last one that I did was 18% um, at 36 hertz. So I'm going to boost this a little bit, and I'm boosting at 18 dB, which is quite a bit. Um, so now I have it boosted a lot more, and you'll see these little tiny red lines um, through the song now. I usually boost it until I see these lines just a little bit. And what these lines represent is clipping in the music. Um, so if I go here, but I'm going to show you what the little, little lines mean. So I'm going to highlight that little line, 
I'll zoom in to that section so you can actually see the wave but what that's showing right there is um, one spot that it clipped on one part of the frequency and if you look at like the duration if you highlight this the duration of it is um, between uh, 2 minutes and 15 seconds and this is uh, 0 0.540 and this is 0.55 so you're talking about a hundredth of a second from here to here so this is clipping for maybe you know a, a lot less than that so you're talking about a hundredth of a second that it clips in one section so usually I'll I'll do it until I get some little little lines like that and then uh, then I'll call it good because really if it clips in one spot like you know at two minutes now if you're looking at it you're like two minutes and 30 seconds now you're at uh, three minutes and 15 seconds so you're talking almost almost a minute that it's gonna clip for like a thousandth of a second uh, not a big deal so usually just the little lines that's how I'll do it uh, then I'll call it good for the boosting on that section and I'll go on the top and then uh, effect and then I'll just go to amplify and then uh, you can you can allow clipping or not allow clipping I don't want any clipping so I'm gonna click OK um, so it's gonna amplify that section um, now I have an amplified uh, high range so that's usually what I'll do so now the song is uh, slowed down 20 percent or slowed down 30 percent boosted 18 percent and uh, I'm gonna call it good so I'll go to file and then export and then you can uh, change your file name so I'll change the file name to motivation uh, and then I'll usually do like a uh, boosted or let's do slowed 30 boosted 18 save and then I'm just going to show you this and you can add like artist name and all that crap if you want to save so now it's going to save it and you should be good.